Hello everyone. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to download a project onto your HMI. Before establishing an Ethernet connection between your HMI and computer, it's important to know if your HMI is CODIS activated. If your CMT is CODIS activated, then LAN port 1 on the HMI will belong to the CODIS application and cannot be used to download an HMI project. A simple way to tell if your CMT is CODIS activated is by looking for the CODIS license sticker that will be located on the back of your HMI. If your HMI is not a CMT, then all LAN ports on the HMI will allow you to download your project. To change your HMI's IP configuration, you'll need to head to the Settings menu. On CMTs, the Settings menu is accessible via an orange disk on the top left corner of your HMI. On most other HMIs, the menu can be opened by clicking a small gray arrow on the bottom right of your screen. After which, you'll need to enter your system password, which by default is six ones. On our CMT, this will bring us to our information tab. Other HMIs, such as an MT8073, will automatically open to the network tab. On our CMT, I'll select my network tab and then select LAN2 to open my IP configuration. In this example, I'm going to turn off Get IP Address Automatically and configure the following network settings. I'll set my IP to 192.168.1.10. Next, I'll set my subnet mask to 255.255.255.0. Since we're establishing a direct connection from our computer to the HMI, we don't need to worry about the gateway or DNS settings. Now that I'm finished, I'll select OK in the top right corner, and I'd like to note that if this was a non-CMT HMI, I would select Apply and then click OK. Now that our HMI is properly configured, we'll need to set up our computer's Ethernet configuration. To do this, we'll open our control panel by heading to the Start menu, after which we'll select Network and Internet, and then click Network and Sharing Center. We'll double-click on Ethernet, and when prompted, select Properties. In this menu, select Internet Protocol Version 4, and then click Properties. If obtain an IP address automatically is selected, we'll need to select use the following IP address. With this selected, we'll enter the following configuration. For our IP, it's important in this example that the first three numbers match the HMI's IP. This is called the IP subnet. So we'll start by entering 192.168.1. And our last number, should be any number between 2 and 253. In this case, I'll enter 15. To keep things simple, our subnet mask should match the subnet mask of our HMI. So in here, I'll click on this, and the system should automatically enter 255.255.255.0. After which, we can leave the rest blank since we're just preparing a direct connection from our PC to the HMI. With everything properly configured, we'll open up Easy Builder Pro and create a few basic objects from the Object tab. Now that we have Easy Builder Pro open, we'll select New, and then select the correct HMI model, and then click OK on the bottom right corner. After a few seconds, our system parameters should open. This is where you can configure your PLC drivers, security settings, and much more. For now, we'll click OK on the bottom right to close our parameters. Now we'll select our Object tab and create a few basic objects. We'll select a numeric object and a bit lamp and place this on our window. Now that we have some basic additions to an overall blank project, we'll connect an Ethernet cable from our computer to the LAN port we configured for downloads on our HMI after which we'll select the Project tab and then select Download. 
If you get a message prompting you to save and compile, then select the file tab and click save. Afterwards, click compile and compile your project. When this is finished, open your download menu. Enter your HMI's IP and then click download. Soon after, your HMI will then reboot with your new project. If you'd like to learn how to configure your HMI to begin communicating with your PLC, please click the link in the description. If you found this tutorial helpful and would like to see more, head on over to our YouTube channel and select the playlist tab. Feel free to check out our website as well for free demo projects, user manuals, and more. Thank you for watching.